Hi everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and it's time for a little bit more happy. Hope it's gonna be happy. We're gonna play with a watermelon today. Because Memorial Day's coming up, and I thought, what better to have a watermelon centerpiece for a picnic outside, because you need to be outside to be around anybody, so it's gonna have to be a picnic. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make this into a really simple watermelon basket, and we're gonna add some flowers to it. So what I'm gonna do first, which is scary, is I'm gonna take this, and I'm going to make my basket. So I hope it'll pop out. Yep. I just want to see one or the other. And you're all probably thinking, oh, he should have cut it before, but what fun would that be? I already have it all pre-planned. Anyway, so. There's my first part. Oops. Now I'm actually putting this on top of some old timey old forest out there. This is the polyfold that we've all had forever. We used to wrap all of our plants in. I found some in the back. You know, we've been around since 1886, so we got stuff back from 1886, I think, in the basement. So I was able to find some polyfold so I don't get the countertop too messy. Let's do it this way. So how is everybody doing today? Everybody's good. We we have hello from Little Rock. Hello, hello, hello. Lots of hellos out there. Cool. So now we're gonna leave these two pieces for something in a little bit. So what you would want to do, honestly, is you'd want to cut all this out and make it a, into a serving piece to take all of. Let me go ahead and curve part of this out. For time's sake, I won't do the whole thing. Whoa! This one don't look very right, Christina. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just I, I got one that I thought would ago. look good. <laughs> it's all about the presentation on the outside, not the inside. Anyway, so what you would do is you would take a big scoop and you would clean all this out and then, you know, cube it or whatever you want to do with it. Someone suggested putting it in with vodka. But anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and clean this part of it out. We have hi from Harrison. Hi from Oregon, Monticello. Cool. Cool. Miss Betty's watching. Hi from Greer's Ferry. Fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Ugh, I'm using my hands. Ugh. This really kind of puts me in the summer spirit, you know? Yeah, it's supposed to be, hopefully. Well, I'm gonna give you all this water when we get finished. Oh, because you know I eat it. Are you, are you, are you, are, mm -hmm. Janae might. Janae might. Anyway, I know my Janae loves, loves watermelon. My Janae loves watermelon too. Yeah, so, anyway. Hi yeah. from North Carolina, from Sheridan. One of my dear friends, Miss Allen, is on, she lives in Phoenix, Arizona, so. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back and score this. I wish I was as talented as the people on the cruise ships that do the big buffets and they have all the carved watermelons and stuff. And, you know, they do all this beautiful artwork, but that ain't me. So it would take way too long to sit and carve that whole thing up, you know. This is pretty fast, though. But there's all kinds of things you could do with it, for sure. So I'm just going to go halfway with this, and I'll spin it around. Miss Kathy said that she is addicted to this presentation. She's from Crystal Lake. Oh, cool. We have some friends from Los Angeles, oh, Nashville, New Zealand, oh, wow. Romania. So what time is it in? What time is it in Romania? Oh, we didn't get the front of the thing finished. The saw broke. But we did get the little cutout done over here, which you can't tell. Which I'm not supposed to be able to tell. So I showed them so that they could just kind of see. Okay. So tomorrow we'll be able to hopefully have the front. The greenery, I like the greenery, but I also understand it cuts, it takes away to see the front of the arrangements. So we're going to make it, try to make it as clean and as simple as possible. It's 1030 right now in Romania. Oh my God. P.M. Do you kind of feel like a carpenter now that you've done all this stuff with the wood and everything? Never. Me? <laughs> no, 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 no. 
No, not at all. All I did was lean against the wall and take a one nail and hung it up. <laughs> we have hi from Hattiesburg from Ohio. Cool. So, I'm going to do all this, and I'm going to clean this up, and then I'm going to get rid of this. Y'all can kind of see where else we're going with it, okay? So let's lay that up. Pretty cute. Miss Marlene said that you are so fancy with that watermelon. Fancy, 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 not really. But it is a fun way to get church social going and get that done. Take it, walk in with that. So I'm gonna set this off to the side. Okay. Here we go. So now we're back. So what you can do, actually, what I've done in the past is I've actually used the watermelon flesh just like I would Oasis. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to actually decorate the side of the watermelon. That's what Lance said. He said um, you could just leave the red part of the watermelon instead of cleaning it and use it as your wet foam. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We left a little bit on the sides for sure, and then we're going to go back and add to these and have these be our little centerpieces that you actually could do down on the table, on the picnic table. Your sister's watching today from Missouri. I am on Carol. So then we'll go back and add a little bit more of this. What is that called? This is Pavaria. I'm saying it wrong, I'm sure. It's a probably eucalyptus. It's all the rage right now and all the bridal work, especially for everyone that wants that real wispy garden ass feel. So now we're gonna go back and add a little bit of fresh mint. I wish you could smell the mint. It smells so good. But not for that one. Miss Kim said that she tries to watch every day from Houston. Well, good. So glad you joined us. We're, we have fun doing it. Try to have fun, don't we, Christine? We do, we have fun. Can everybody hear me okay today? Except when I almost forget the watermelon. Well, y'all can now too. <laughs> Everybody doing all right? Everybody's good today. Okay, Miss Smith from the UK is watching. Awesome. So this is thistle. I'm just gonna start just a few pieces of that in there. That gives a little bit of blue. So anybody that's not from the United States, we have this weekend coming up called Memorial Day. And it's a day that we all as a nation like to remember everyone that's given their lives in uh, in the war, all the different wars. And so that's how we remember our people that have fallen during the, whenever they were fighting for our freedom. So now we spin that around like that. There's that. Need the spinner today, don't I? We do. So Miss Jody said, all good with Norwood. All good with Norwood. So now I'm going to go back and add a couple pieces of height with the Gerber daisies into there. Did not wire these. Is the thistle naturally blue or is it's, it dyed? It's, no, it's a natural blue thistle. And so I'm going to do one of these to have a little bit of height to it. And the other one, like really simple, where it's just kind of a clutch focal point or small focal point. Just kind of color block on that. Let's go back and add a few Gerber daisies here. So Miss Jane asked if I could take two steps back from the microphone because I'm louder than you. Oh, okay. But I, the microphone's just the, the phone that I'm holding. Yeah. So sorry we, about that. We are very, very, people don't know how <laughs> we are so low tech here. We're making it on our phone and we got these two funky lights up on the top so you can still see since we don't need natural light. So um, we're, not, we're not a high production of uh, proceed. Uh, we're not high production at all. I guess you pay peanuts, you get monkeys, right? Miss <laughs> <laughs> Nancy said that she does watermelon baskets filled with fresh fruit, and she just adds a few flowers on the side right. of the handle. Well, that's what we're trying to do here, kind of. What you would do is you would kind of keep cleaning this out, and you take all your watermelon and cube it up and then add other fruit to it. And so what I thought you would not want to do, too, is that there's no way that there's enough water in here for a hydrangea to last. So what I'm gonna do is actually take a really inexpensive hydrangea bloom off one of these inexpensive bushes 
and add a little bit of blue in the base of this. And no one will really can tell the difference once it's done. Miss Cicely said that Texas blue bonnets would be perfect in this arrangement. Oh, exactly. Miss Sarah said the volume is good. Good. Jennifer said that you don't have to be high production to make good work. Y'all are doing amazing and make oh, beautiful okay. happies. Well, thank you. So, so now we're going to go back and add just a few of the blue irons. And I'm pretty sure they'll hold up. Hey, Jody, if you're out there watching, will the high, you think the iris will be okay in the, in the watermelon or not? Kathy said that she worked for a small florist 46 years ago for a short time, and she has loved flowers ever since. Well, one of those things, honestly, once you've done it and you get it, it gets in your blood, you can't ever get out of it, no matter what you do. Miss Jody said the iris will be fine. Okay, awesome. So what I'm trying to do is combine all the different red, white, and blue, because that's our national flag colors. There's that. And we are, believe it or not, getting close to being done. Let me clean that back for you a little bit. Miss Tina said hello from Jasper. Or Jasper, however you would say it. Miss Paula said, I'm doing a good job, so thank you. Well, good. Miss Liz said that her iris lasted two days um, after she cut it, after cutting the tops. My iris lasts two days tops after cutting. Should they last longer? Did she get them us? I'm not sure. I'm just, maybe she you cut them out of her yard. Her I'm not sure. Miss Liz, let us know. We'll take care yeah, of you. Yeah, let us, if you uh, that better last longer than two days from tipping at hers. Miss Jody said the silk hydrangea is br a brilliant idea to cover. Yeah, it just, it just adds a little pop of color. And honestly, hydrangea are so good for the difference between the fresh and the silk. You really can't tell the difference. And I, I just know that I'll come up with a hydrangea in this. They take up so much hydration that they're not going to last in this this series so anyway so here's a thought you could do just you could just use your ends and make a centerpiece for that where you combine them together or they could be individually down the table and what you also want to do is actually clean the bottom of it like level the bottom of this off if it's not setting up straight but i'm not going to do that because i don't want to get more watermelon juice on the table because that's going to be gross tomorrow and then we have our basket here that you could do more or less. You could actually do flowers all, all around the handle, all the way around on it, or just on the sides, whatever you want to do. But it's just a fun centerpiece for, especially for a picnic. For Memorial Day, 4th of July would be perfect because we all love watermelon, except for Christina on the holiday. <laughs> so, anyway. Miss Liz did say that they did not come from Tipton Hearst. They're from her yard. Oh, uh, okay. Those generally don't last as well, especially if you cut them bright when they're peaked out. What you want to do is cut them when they're more of a bud form. You probably want to cut them early in the morning so there's less hot, they're less dehydrated. And then when you cut them, you actually want to put them in like a, a warm water that's going to flush the stem better out of the air. So hopefully they'll hopefully that'll help a little bit. So this is today's happy. We hope you that you've enjoyed it. Um, we had a little happy. It actually went faster than I thought. I thought the car carving the water would take a little bit longer, but you know, like I said, you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. So anyway, hopefully you've had a little fun today, a little bit of happy, and we will see y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a blessed day, and thanks for watching.